name is Ron Sieber. I'm the director of sport facilities and campus recreation. We're in Husky Dome right now. Um, this dome was put up 10 years ago. This is our 10th year of the Husky Dome. The students at St. Cloud State basically bought this facility along with the Student Recreation Center. The, we figure the dome and the infrastructure of the dome um, cost about a million dollars. It creates a 90,000 square foot playground that it's, well, it's 20 degrees below zero outside right now. It's 55 degrees in Husky Stadium. I can keep it warmer than that if need be. 55 is a comfortable number uh, um, to, for activity. And then every degree I heat um, is more money for utility costs. So we manage it at 50 overnight, 55 degrees during the week. Um, it is a, a playground and a practice. Behind us right now, our baseball and softball teams are practicing, but it's more than that. It's for our students who, again, own the facility to have a place they can recreate in, in Minnesota um, when it's 20 below. Really thankful we have the dome. We get to practice in it every day and uh, ends up being a lot of uh, home games for us. So it's really nice to just have some place to play every day. The dome, it, it, it's 78 feet high. We are like our softball team right now. It's They can play two intercollegiate college softball games at the same time. Baseball, we have the batting cages. Um, so it's a, it's a great practice venue. To have a facility like this is just, you know, not a lot of people have it, number one. And number two, to be able to have it in, in the middle part of the afternoon from you know, 12.30 to 3 o'clock, Monday through Friday. It's, uh, it's a great thing for our ball players. It takes away the stresses of having to practice early in the morning or late at night. Heck, today we did some simulated scrimmage stuff with our pitchers so our hitters get to see live hitting. It's really, it's an advantage all the way around to be able to, you know, it's not grass, but it's, it's the closest thing to being grass. So, and obviously we're not gonna be outside for quite some time. So a lot of benefits for our program. It not only gives us this space, but then creates open space in our other areas. Um, the dome covers our football stadium. Without the dome, then you've got a football field sitting outside unused, so it really maximizes utilization. Now, the challenge, uh, I will probably be replacing the turf this year as well for Husky Stadium because we use it all the time. That's a great problem. It means we're using the space. So we've got this facility and it's a great opportunity that our students provided for us, um, but our students are also instrumental in putting it up. This dome, the fabric of the dome weighs 40,000 pounds. There's six sections of dome and then there's hundreds of thousands of nuts and bolts that seam it together. Setting it up and taking it down is, a, is strictly a student and my staff initiative. Our maintenance department also helps, don't, don't get me wrong, but we take 150, 200 student recreators. We roll it out, fluff it up, and uh, get it going. I mean, we pretty much do everything from hauling the ropes to putting the rivets in at the bottom. We all come together at about 5 o'clock in the morning and we start unrolling that 40,000 pounds of fabric, another 100,000 pounds of cables that keep it in place. Um, so setup is 12 hours of rolling it out, bolting it together, turning on the air pressure, and then tearing it down. And we've gotten pretty good at this. We'll start that at about 6 in the morning and we're done at noon. Could not happen without the, it, it's, it's really a team building event of our athletes, coaches, and recreators to make it happen. Because you don't, you don't get old men like me, a um, hundred of us together and do it. It's a lot of work. I love doing it and I'm right in it, but it's, it's not anywhere near fun. And, um, and it works out pretty well. So I think it's really important that our students know this is here for them. Like I said, it's 90,000 square feet of fun in the middle of the winter. Throw a baseball, try the batting cages, ultimate frisbee, jog, walk, whatever. They own it, they pay for it, come and use it. So I hope you've learned a few, a few of the things that you have opportunity to use in Husky Stadium and in the Husky Dome. Um, what makes St. Cloud State unique? My name is Ron Sebring. I'm the Director of Sport Facilities and, and Campus Recreation at St. Cloud State. And you are watching Husky Faceoff.